looks like we're about to get a whole new crop of superhero TV shows, and this time in the forms of Marvel shows. So we already know what's going on with the WB, how they have a bazillion uh, DC shows. Fox had already started with having a Gotham show, so that's another DC show. And it looked like Marvel was starting to infiltrate TV with their Netflix series. And you have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. over on ABC. So now we're getting word that we're probably going to see, well, we're definitely going to see two more. Uh, we might see a third one. So it looks like um, Fox and Marvel have announced, and uh, it's pretty solid and concrete that they're going to be doing two, they're going to be teaming up to produce two TV shows. One is going to be called Legion, and that is about Professor X's son of a superhero of the same name, Legion. And this is a really, really cool character, which if it's Professor done right. Professor X had which, a son? Yeah, if it's done right, and it probably will because it's on FX. FX does a lot of really cool shows, and they can kind of take it to a little bit of a darker side. Um, it'll be a really, really good one. Now, if you don't know about Legion, Legion is a multiple personality disorder individual and it just so happens that every single one of his personalities have their own superpower and so he kind of switches between <laughs> okay. personalities to uh you know decide which superpower he's going to be using so, so a he's lot a of this... schizophrenic version of rogue slash mystique like uh, i guess he's not he stealing can't really it. use the powers she's just a shapeshifter rogue is stealing the powers but yeah. this guy, he just has a ton of powers. And and a couple of the big storylines we might see if they when they do go through with this TV show now. Um, he is Professor X's son. At some point, he was taken over by the Shadow King. And I think that's where his uh, mental state was broken and split up into these different personalities. So that would so, be a pretty interesting. So Legion was possessed and now is many people. Yes. Yes. Well, that was before he was Legion. So, and that's a pretty cool thing. And the Shadow King's definitely a really cool character from the Marvel mythos. A little lesser known character as well as Legion is, but uh, really cool. But also Legion, if you don't know, he's the one who started the Age of Apocalypse. He went mm. back in time at one point and tried to kill Magneto so that his father, Professor X, could have his vision of humans and mutant equality realized. And he ended up killing Professor X instead. Mm. So That backfired? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then without Professor X around, uh, chaos descends and Apocalypse takes over everything. So he's got some very, very interesting storylines that I could see FX really fleshing out. So that looks like a really, really cool TV show. Then we have Hellfire. That one will be on Fox proper. And that is obviously about the Hellfire Club. You might know them. Their most mainstream appearances, number one, would be in the X-Men animated series. They had a lot to do in that TV show. Um, so that's they they're there, and also if you saw X Men First Class, that is the the uh, Hellfire Club, you know, headed by Sebastian Shaw, and I think the most notable member would be Emma Frost, who turns good eventually. Um, and their really cool story storylines are is they're they're the Dark Dark Phoenix saga. They're the ones who captured Jean Grey, wanted to steal the essence of the Phoenix, and ended up just uh, making it evil. So. Yeah, we got yeah, some pretty that, cool... That's another one of those backfire pretty situations. Pretty cool storylines. And then the third property I talked about... Now, this is just rumors. The other two are pretty much set in stone. The third property is a rumor um, that Netflix might actually be getting a Moon Knight TV show. So that would be interesting. Moon Knight is really Marvel's version of Bruce Wayne. So, But he also has multiple personalities, which is interesting. That they're bringing out a lot of these multiple personality mm -hmm. superheroes. Um, and the reason Moon Knight has multiple super, uh, multiple personalities, which I think is really cool, is pretty much uh, it's whatever writer is writing his story at the moment gets to decide how he wants Moon Knight to act. No, they I'm give him a basis, and then he gets to change. They get to change it around a little bit. I'm so surprised that's cool. Fox isn't, uh, and no one's really jumped on, say, doing a a, a Magneto spinoff show because Magneto. I know there was a movie in the works at one point that kind of got shelved after the horrible, horrible showing of X-Men Origins Wolverine. It was supposed to be X-Men Origins. They were going to make a bunch of X-Men Origins mm. series. Magneto was going to be the second one Magneto that they did. makes much more sense, though. I mean, Wolverine, yes, is a popular, cool character, but Magneto has the deepest story. I mean, the first X-Men movie was almost a Magneto movie with how they framed it about Magneto going to concentration camps and then resisting what he sees as the concentration camps and then is in jail. Like, that, that, that's almost a Magneto movie out there. And then is in jail. What are you talking about? When was he in jail? He was in jail. Remember, they put him in the plastic prison. Yeah, that was in number two. They put him at in the plastic prison on the no, end of number they, one. It was at the end of number one. And then they break him out in two. Well, yeah, but 
I, I I don't really agree with that because that was really a Wolverine movie. If you looked at that, Dave, the he first was, one. Well, okay, it was you, a could, Wolverine I, you could argue that there's a, a lot. Yeah, of Magneto was but the main character, and Ian McKellen yeah. played an excellent Magneto. But either way, there was either. a lot of groundwork for making yeah, something ones. for just Magneto already. Yeah, well, but yeah, it, which they could have done, and they would have done successfully. But this brings a couple things to mind. Number one. Is this a sign that Marvel and Fox are now going to start playing nice and we might see some of the Marvel characters from the X-Men, the mutants, leak over into some of the movies or vice versa? Uh, which would be really cool because Wolverine, who wouldn't want to see him as one of the Avengers? And if you ask me, it's probably the perfect time for them to start playing nice like this. You saw Sony do it with Spider-Man and that's really going to help Sony out. I can't imagine that'll be anything but super popular for Sony that they're having Marvel jump in and help them reboot that series. Think about what Marvel could help uh, Fox do with the X-Men, even though Fox has actually done pretty well with the X-Men, but then think about another property as in the Fantastic Four, which Fox has just blundered through and screwed up at every turn, hand it back over to Marvel and say, hey, okay, let's work together and split profits or something and see what happens even incorporating them into the overall MCU would be a really cool idea, especially the Fantastic Four, because that is one of the big teams in terms of the Marvel comic universe, which kind of gets pushed to the side just because the movies have sucked so, yeah. so bad. Yeah, um, uh, I believe it's usually said that Fantastic Four really saved Marvel back, like mm -hmm. launched the Silver Age and everything like that. So they're they're huge for Marvel. It's it's unfortunate they've. Well, if you think about some aside. of the bad guys from Fantastic Four, like Doctor Doom, mm. he's huge in especially what's going on now with the Marvel comics with all their Secret Wars. Molecule Man, that was another Fantastic Four guy, I believe. Uh, these guys were really really big, and also bringing another brain together, you could start developing developing that brain trust of, uh, you know, Tony Stark, Ant-Man, and uh, Richard, Reed Richards. So that would mm -hmm. be pretty cool. And, you know, with the Infinity War coming up, it might not be so bad. I know they're going to have a million superheroes in that. You know, throw four more in. Fantastic Four. Exactly. Infinity War. You know? But we'll cool. see. I kind of imagine that Fox will probably want to wait a little bit and see what happens with Sony and Spider-Man and whatever else goes on with Sony um, to see how well it does work out. When yeah, but this is at least them dipping their toes in the water, those two companies coming together a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the first time we've really seen Marvel and Fox come together and play nice. So, I, I mean, it, it's just it's interesting to see. It's a good sign. My only worry is that we are quickly, quickly approaching the time of superhero fatigue because that's all we have seen the past couple of years. It's a new superhero show, at least two or three every year, it seems like. You know, three or four superhero movies a year. The video games are getting superhero video games. When is it going to be like reality TV and we're just like, okay, mm -hmm. enough is enough. That, that's, that, that happened a few years lines. back. Did, do you remember, did you ever see the, uh, the Stan Lee's like next superhero or whatever where people competed with a superhero costume idea that they created yeah. to be the next that, Marvel Yeah, superhero. that was a reality show, but yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, when is that superhero fatigue going to set in? And I imagine yeah, within the next five, ten years, and then we'll this will be known as the golden age of superhero movies, mm -hmm. and then we'll have a silver age sometime later on. But Yeah. But, uh, I don't we know. have been saturating it. Although, someone pointed out, I think, that... Um, like we've talked about maybe it happening like westerns where you'll still see a western every once in a while but supposedly the, the era of westerns was like a 40 year period so you know that no, that would we'll be see. nice i mean i doubt anything is going to go 40 years again with uh much dominance and much saturation but man, maybe yeah. Again, we'll, we'll see. But let us know what you think. Are you excited to see what the Marvel and Fox team up will produce or are you getting towards the point of you're done with superhero TV shows? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Always good ways getting a hold of us.